Rehabilitation After Spine Surgery The first phase of rehabilitation after spine surgery takes about three to five days for most people. During this phase, we want you to achieve the following goals. Good pain control, healthy eating and drinking, normal bowel function, bathing and caring for your incision, walking and moving with good posture. Pain control. The amount of pain medication that each patient needs varies greatly. We will give you a prescription for a strong narcotic pain medication, like Norco or Percocet. We want you to use this medication for a short period of time, ideally about two to three days. As appropriate, we will also give you Tylenol, anti-inflammatory medications, and muscle relaxants, with instructions for how and when to take these medications. Healthy eating and drinking. Chicken soup is good for you for a reason. It is easily digested, it has lots of electrolytes, and it tastes great. After surgery, you should eat what sounds good to you, and you should drink lots of liquids. Gatorade or a similar sports drink can help replenish your electrolytes. You will know that you are properly rehydrated after surgery when your urine is clear or light-colored, like a glass of Chardonnay. If it is dark yellow or amber, you need more fluids. Clinical experience has taught us that the best way to get someone's bowels working normally again is to allow them to eat and drink what they want, when they want. If you usually enjoy a hot cup of strong coffee every morning, you should have one on the day after surgery. If you feel like a bowl of chicken soup or breakfast cereal at 3 in the afternoon, go ahead. Just make sure that you are getting enough calories and enough fluids. Bathing and caring for your incision. The surgical incision is closed with an absorbable suture, a medical form of superglue, and covered with a clear plastic dressing. Leave this dressing on for five days. You can shower 24 hours after your operation. Let the soap and water run over the top of the dressing and pat it dry, but don't scrub it. Avoid hot tubs, saunas, or swimming pools for four weeks after surgery. Walking and moving with good posture. After your operation, you do not have any specific activity restrictions. You can go up and down stairs, get in and out of bed, and sleep in any position. We want you to avoid any heavy lifting or awkward movement like bending and twisting. You should be sensible. Make sure that all of your movements are slow, controlled, and pain-free. Walking is the best form of rehabilitation after surgery. We want you to start walking on the first day after surgery and, as you feel up to it, building up to 20 minutes twice per day. Nerve root pain after surgery. When we perform a microscopic decompression of a nerve root, we take away the pressure that has been causing pain. For the first 24 or 48 hours after surgery, the nerve root usually feels great. It's finally free for the first time in months or years. Since there is now less pressure on the nerve root, there is also an increase in blood flow to a part of the nerve root called the dorsal root ganglion. The dorsal root ganglion can swell, and you can experience a temporary spike in pain or discomfort. We call this postoperative dysesthesia. The word dysesthesia has Latin origins and basically means bad sensations. It describes an abnormal or unpleasant sensation when touched. This happens about 10% of the time after microscopic spine surgery. Our patients will report that after an initial honeymoon, when the nerve root felt great, their pain came back for a couple of hours or a day. The experience is similar to what happens when you warm your hands up after they have gotten really cold. When they are cold and numb, similar to being squashed by a disc herniation, the feeling is unpleasant. As they start to warm up and the circulation is restored, the pins and needles can make you want to crawl out of your skin. If this happens after surgery, the best course of action is usually to give it time and walk it off. The nerve root needs time to heal.
If we were to illustrate the pain caused by a disc herniation that requires a microscopic decompression, it might look something like this. The nerve root is happy until a disc herniation squeezes the nerve root. Anti-inflammatory medications, muscle relaxants, and physical therapy help decrease the pain. But the pain keeps coming back. This herniation is bad enough that it needs an operation. On the day of the operation, the pressure is finally removed and the nerve root breathes a sigh of relief. 24 to 48 hours later, increased blood flow to the dorsal root ganglion causes temporary swelling, and the pain may return. As the nerve continues to heal, the swelling comes and goes, but ultimately, the nerve root returns to normal and the patient is happy.